Hey guys, Vincent Wynn here for Slash Gear. I am so excited about this package. This is going to be my first unboxing in a very, very long time. Our really amazing PR friends over at Big Fish Collective uh, PR Agency uh, worked tirelessly with a boundary uh, system to get this new Eris uh, package system over here to me to unbox for my upcoming trips. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get into... Uh, the unboxing. Okay, let's cut into the box. There it is. Doesn't look much, and that's the whole point. As you can see here, on the outside right here is gonna probably be my favorite bag. This is the Stasis, on top is the Rift, and this here is the Eris Pack. The one thing I just wanna show you right off the bat is the magnetic closure. I mean, it's just, I mean, look at that. Look how easy that is. Bam, you're good to go. The second thing is, as you can see right here, that's really important. And the reason is, if you're a shorter individual, <clears throat> you want this all the way down to help with support. Whereas if you're a little bit taller, lift and then push up. So then the bag sits higher on your back. And then lastly, as we kind of just walk through some of the support system here, this is the uh, suspension, lift suspension right here. So if you've got a heavy load and your bag is sitting really low on your back, you can essentially pull this so that it sits higher up and gives you kind of a cushion, if you will. Uh, so that way your shoulder, not, the entire weight isn't resting on your shoulder, whereas it's kind of just suspended. So then, yeah, so let's dig in. Um, again, magnetic closure, easy open, close. I mean, that is just, to me, is just pure genius right there. Inside is enough for a camera, um, you know, a bag, clothes, snacks, anything that you might want to throw in. I'm not as familiar with their modular system, so we'll get into this whole uh, 360 uh, lash system here in a second, but let's go ahead and look at the compartment of the um, the rift here. So it's essentially a very fancy glorified fanny pack, but you can also wear it on your back um, as kind of a sling, if you will. On top, there is a small zipper for smaller items. Okay. So now, let's figure out how I can detach the bags from the main compartment here, since I'm not very familiar with their system. Okay, so I see there's a hook back here. You simply, hopefully, slide it through, I think. Let me see. Uh... All right, so apparently there are two clicks here. I'm pretty sure once I get this system down, it should be pretty easy to take on and off. At It's good to note that uh, everything is tightly secured for when you're running around. All right, so that's off. Release that, and the riff is off. That easy. So the one thing I really appreciate when it comes to attention to detail is you can tuck the strap into the back here when you don't need it, such as when you're carrying it on top of the RS bag here. And you just simply click it to close, and it's that easy. And when you do need it, Take it out, close this up, and then 
here a second here. Close this up. <laughs> and you've got a nice sling or fanny pack for when you're on the run. All right, so let's remove the stasis bag as well from the uh, 360 um, latch system before we dig into the, uh, the bag itself. So on top, it's cleverly uh, connected through this secure mechanism so that it doesn't come apart. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and release the bottom one here really quick. It will be much easier and faster once I get to know the system a little bit more, obviously. Hold that and then slide this out. Of course, it's much easier to do when you're not trying to film. <laughs> All right, so let's put that aside for just a second and talk about the uh, stasis bag. It is nice and compact. Um, in theory, the top unzips and you should be able to fit a laptop, a 13 inch laptop possibly. Uh, it looks kind of small. We'll have to try it out in a little bit. Uh, definitely an iPad for sure. It unzips, there's a small uh, mesh uh, pocket on top. And then again, attention to detail. Uh, you've got a little zipper compartment here for passport or any secure documents that you need to put in here, cell phones and whatnot. Now, where is the sling portion of this? It's right here. Pull this out and you can swing it to the left or to the right, depending on which shoulder you carry the bag on. Um, that is so lightweight. This thing itself is under a pound. This is half a pound. And coming around to the RS bag here, this is two and a half pounds, folks. Two and a half pounds. Um, it's pretty amazing when it comes to how much it holds and the weight to, uh, to liter ratio. Um, okay, so digging in a little bit. Comes with a waist belt that is also uh, happen to be removable. Um, heavy car loads and whatnot, you want to keep this. Again, magnetic closure, nice and quick. Let's take a look on the outside real quick. On the top, there is a large compartment that is shared inside the, um, I believe it's a 35 liter bag, I believe. Uh, I need to double check on that. I can't remember right now. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that's the top compartment, large enough for another bag, um, that especially the tech bag if you want to put it in here, uh, headset and whatnot. Close that up for a second there. And then there's a larger, but not the main opening that will give you access to the main compartment as well. So this is where you wanna you know, put your cameras and you know, anything that you wanna be able to have quick access to. Zip that up. <laughs> and then this is the main compartment. So when you open this up, it will open up into two halves. Okay. Nice and simple, um, magnetic latch for the, uh, the field. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, there's an attachment that goes here. I will get it later. I'll put it on the, disc on the, on the, uh, on the screen for you. There's a secure latch, nigh wool, um, nigh wool pouch here to keep your laptop, tablet, whatnot safe and secure. What's really interesting about this is that this mesh for the main compartment is essentially is expandable and it retracts when you don't need all that space. I'm gonna swing over here to kind of show you around. A smaller compartment up here, a larger compartment down here for cables, underwear, whatever you wanna put in there. Now, if you wanna follow me for a second here, and watch what I'm about to do here. This is, I hope it works. Bam, you literally rip it and it just opens up super fast for you and you have access to your full compartment. 
This is one of the hemp cube. I believe this is a smaller one. This is the tech pack that uh, you can use to store cables, uh, memory cards. There's a zip, a secure zip here, zipper here for batteries, anything precious you probably want to put in here. Um, and then of course there are other compartments. On the flip side, there's another zipper that opens up for all your cables. Um, you know, more secure compartments in here. I will be using this quite a lot. And as I stated earlier, this is what's nice is when you're running around, you kind of don't want to move all your little um, accessories from one bag to the next. So what makes this system really genius or really um, smart to have is I take this and I just throw it into, uh, into the, uh, the stasis bag, close it up, and I've got an on-the-go uh, pack with all my gear, cables, charger, and whatnot. So let's leave that in there for a second. So this is the hemp cube for all your dirty clothes, clean clothes. Um, so yeah, it's breathable, super lightweight. Throw that aside there for a second. And then, let's see, we're, there's also another um, bag in here that you can use for dirty clothes, shoes, anything that you want to separate from, uh, from the main compartment when you're traveling. And then you just close it up. It's airtight. I'm sorry, it's waterproof. And it keeps out the smelly stuff. Um, also magnetic closure. Very smart. And then it's also a, securely attached to the RS bag itself. Okay. And then zip this up. And you've got an amazing lightweight system that you can uh, essentially take anywhere. Okay, so to quickly recap, all in all, everything looks great. Uh, just so you know, there are three colors. Uh, the one that I selected is the uh, Sienna. It's kind of an orangish. It's dark. I think it's going to patina really well. Uh, I've got so many black bags that I just I need something color in my life, and I'm glad that uh, Boundary Supply decided to go with something um, a little brighter in my perspective. It also comes with Onyx, which is black, and I believe so Olive is the greenish color. Just a quick recap, this is the Rift, which is a fanny pack or you can use it as a sling. You've got the Stasis. This is basically a carry uh, on the go bag for when you arrive at where you're going. And then this here is the Aris, uh, A-R-R-I-S in case you can't uh, understand that, what I'm saying. I can't wait to put this to test tomorrow along with my trip to uh, Vancouver, uh, Geneva, Germany, all within the next uh, 12 days. So, you know, can't wait to share with you uh, how I'm using these bags over the next couple of weeks. Vincent for Slash Gear, thanks for watching.